Welcome back to King of Many Nations and Lotharingia, now a part of the Holy Roman Empire. We are playing as the De Lavore dynasty and we are heirs to the Holy Roman Empire's throne. Now the question is if the Holy Roman Empress, who seems to be weird in more ways than one, will die before us. We are about the same age. She um, revoked Gilich and gave us Lorraine for some inexplicable reason. I don't know. Um, both are in our de jure territory, as you can see here. But I, I don't know. She just wanted to be close to us. Anyway, we're currently fighting for... Um, what's it called? Mets. And then we might actually go for Fals here. Yeah, because she only holds that. Uh, that's, that's a good investment. Claiming that would be nice. Don't know what Holland is up to. What's up, Portugal? Who is winning here? It seems like you are. And that is fine. The Byzantine Empire is incredibly strong. No joke. Oh, they are going to attack us, eh? Well then, um, let's see. Just a tiny company of mercs. And they will do. Get there. We didn't even... Yeah, we needed them. It seems. We can use the mercs to take over Fals as well. By the way, do you want to give us money, Pope? Oh, thank you. So I can use my piety for something. Um, sure. Go over to Rome. Right, so this is soon one. Ah, finally. Alright, I will educate him myself for obvious reasons. I also have a decent um, finisher. Brilliant strategist, so I'll keep him for my entire life, or for, for the entire duration of the education. Alright, now you are mine. And you are Dutch, and you like me enough. That's fine. Now for you. By the way. So you, you hold Lower Lorraine, and I do not hold anything in there. No wait, that's not... Where, where? Let's see. Thuringia. It's over there. But why do you have it? Don't even know. Odd. Anyway. The jaw claim on false. Let's call in some allies. <laughs> One Baron. Loses the trait has measles. Hmm. You never even get a, a notification that you have measles. Uh, Empress Frida the Cruel? Yeah, sure, I'll murder her. Damn it, I'm, I'm the heir. I wanna do it. Ten years is... Soon. Two more years. And then we can go elective in our own realm as well. <sighs> no. Don't care for it. Uh, charitable would be nice. Greed isn't really a trait an emperor should have. Going to earn enough money anyway. 
from the Empire itself. And all its loyal subjects. Lithuania looks a bit split, I have to say. Are they fighting a war? Or simply split up like this? They are simply split up like this. Weird. Right. Soon done. Let's siege this last one. Another one. Alright, so now they are attacking. Um, higher. I'm spending my money liberally. I didn't even need it. Well, better safe than sorry, I say. My second son will also be educated by myself. Normal city taxes, yeah, sure. Alright. So now we have almost unified our entire kingdom, except for the one province the Empress holds. But if we are her heir anyway... No, we are not. Not anymore. Duke Philips of Swabia is. I see. And uh, Venice then. The truce is up in a few more years. Alright, well, let's um, wait around until we can institute another inheritance law in our own kingdom. Ten years. That's all it's. Uh, that all. That's all that is required. Nice. Smuggler's ring will be removed. And Karlsland has its capital out here for some reason. The king has his uh, summer retreat there. Probably. Hmm. Okay. Still no green pop up here. I don't remember in what month uh, we. Uh... Oh. I'm keeping the Duchess here. You're not getting anything. I could also go to Magenture. That's just weird. No, I prefer elective. Or should I go Primo? No, I don't have High. Alright, well... Uh, seniority is out of the question. Yes, Elective is where it's at. Fabricate a clay... No, I don't care. I don't care for your claims. And another child on the way. Could go for some girls now. That would be nice. Please, come on. Like, there we go. What is England up to? Oh well, elective monarchy. Then we go for King of Karl's land. <laughs> no, our son. Um, they are... Someone's claim on Gelre. Duchy of Gelre. I don't think England will win this. Not even when they are led by the great of Krichton dynasty. No. Alright then, well we have completed one of our main goals. Now we just want to become... The Emperor. We could probably go for murdering this guy because he's way too popular. Would anyone join? A few people would. Huh. And... Um, should I imprison my vassal? He likes me but he's not voting for me. 
because I hold too many Elector titles. Well, I do have the Domesne to support it, so you shouldn't really be that mad. Oh well. I'm currently not losing any titles. Blanque Flore. Beautiful name. I really dislike the partition of Italy and France, but it seems like France is gobbling up uh, the Italian provinces in France, in France proper, while Italy is struggling to keep anything. Oh, Portugal. Another queen. Portugal likes its queens. I'm all for that. Ah, oh, so the Byzantines are taking back this. I see. The Byzantine Empire may be too strong if they are uh, like this. The Holy Roman Empire will be modeled by the Holy Roman Empire mechanics in EU4. But I might want to make sure that the Byzantine Empire gets split up into some... What the fuck? Alright, so they became Christian. All of them. But they became Nestorians, and they became Orthodox. I think that Nestorianism will replace uh, the Orthodoxy. You're still Mongol. While the Golden Horde is Pechenig. Well, let's focus on the task at hand. Right, so now everyone is voting for this guy. What makes them like him so much? <laughs> well, I, I I can see why they would vote for his for him. Twenty diplomacy and just awesome stats overall. But seriously, they they should want a warrior king. I am a warrior king. Go for me. Hmm, the city of Luxembourg, with a little seashell. Looks nice. When can I attack you? It was in a few more years, four more years. Yeah, I might as well just wait. Bribe him. Alright, let's educate our sons and just observe the world for a while. The Teutonic Order is expanding into Bjarmia. Weird. This uh, area here is really becoming <laughs> balkanized. With like several different fates and... Uh, and I don't know. The Ilkhan is at one province up there. That's odd. I'm still impressed by the fact that Hungary managed to regress back to Tengriism. But uh, there is um, a little less than 200 years left. A lot of things may happen. Who knows? I mean, Portugal may be taken over by the Shia Caliphate again. Even though they all seem to be going for Tangier rather than anything else. And now Portugal is going to unify. New steward. Get me some money, please. England is in a civil war. Aragon formed the Kingdom of Aragon, weren't they? The Duchy of Aragon just a few minutes ago. <laughs> of the Tylefer dynasty, of course. Brings back memories. The, for some reason, the Teutonic Order is actually holding on to this. Oh, the Arabians are attacking the Byzantine Empire. And the Byzantine Empire can 
really. They, they, can, they can have it, because they are way too strong right now. Especially with them converting to Catholicism and everything. If they had been Orthodox, well then it would have been okay. But now they are like... Best friends with everyone. Right, a crusade for Hungary! Yeah, let's do it! Who is it going to go to? Currently the Pope. Alright, well I'm joining this war. Offer to join war. Crusade for Hungary. Yes. Okay. Not very impressive. Allow me to gather my troops. My wife. Also my leash. No, she. I am her leash, I mean. Um, well, that's a sizable army. Might be enough. Let's uh, go with the best generals I have. Before we head off to war. Oh man, did... No, it's just us and some random counts. I thought um, the Byzantine Empire joined in, but they didn't. At least I don't think so. Oh, they are holy warring for Transylvania. Oh, I see. Well, then I'm going for uh, their land. So I don't mind if they uh, take Transylvania. Especially not before the war is won, because that means more territory for the victor. Less for the Byzantine Empire in Hungary. This is probably all going to become a holy order. Um, it seems like that's what usually happens. The holy orders get the titles. But who knows? My reputation is ruined. Why is this crusade... Okay. I see. Are we really the only king who's going to join a crusade? Not even the Holy Orders. No, not even the Holy Orders joined. <laughs> what is this? Beja. Nice, I thought it was some kind of weird um, independence thing, and I'm really happy it wasn't. Wait, what happened to the... The Ilkhanate got swallowed by the Arabians. And now they are a um, Crimean state here. Nestorian Crimean state. And... Oh, <laughs> oh, it's too bad that the Timurids are going to come here and ruin all the fun. Because seriously, having a Mazdaki, a Zoroastrian heresy, would have been awesome. Unfortunately, it's not going to last. Is the Golden Horde somewhere? No. Golden. Golden Horde. Yes. They hold no land and uh, have no vessels. So I guess they are bugged. All uh, right then. Really, would no one join? Holy Roman Empire, can't you see that you could gain all of this? Okay, so the Teutonic Order is gaining even more territory up here. And they still hold on to Jerusalem. If this lasts, I think I'm going to split off this from uh, this. And make this uh, the Kingdom of Jerusalem instead. But I don't think it's going to last. Not with the Arabians actually going batshit insane and taking territories from the Basilius himself. But they are going to run into the Timurids, so... I guess it's all... It's all doomed anyway. So, is this really your entire army, Pope? One, one, two, three. Like you just started to learn counting. Well, if the Holy Orders has not joined, then I could hire them. I just realized that. Let's get them over here and uh, have them help. 
despite them not wanting to. Alright, Lithuania. Looking good. Lo well, looking better than last time. Here we go. The Knights of Santiago has joined. Emperor Richard the Magnanimous? Emperor Richard. Grandmaster Richard. Is that a bug? So it says Emperor Richard here? No! Oh! Oh, okay. He's married to the Queen of the Holy Roman Empire. I have, I remember seeing him. But that's why he looks so weird. He has a like emperor crown and a military garb. He's a um, holy order... Wait, that means... Wait, what? <laughs> I, I wonder if he suspects anything. <laughs> the poor soul probably thinks uh, that she is a uh, she she's still a virgin or something. Virgin bir birth. Right, well, um, let's see. We are currently the top contributor. It's probably going to stay that way. But I won't keep Hungary. I, at least I don't think so. I may. I may keep it. It's going to get split up anyway when... Um, when, when, when... Um, we let the AI take over. But this would make for one hell of a whole Roman Empire. That's for sure. And I have lots of sons to uh, inherit all of my titles. Proud. Nice guy. He's got no virtues, but he's still awesome. And he's good at fighting, just like his dad. Uh, he converted to... <laughs> they just converted again. All right then. At least, at least they are not Tengri anymore. Though they will be. Because now they'll just start a war for someone's claim. Oh. They should make. Uh, a rule like when they get force converted from a crusade, all the vessels should also flip. In my opinion, right now, look at this. Now they're just going to turn back to being uh, Tengri, and the crusade will have reset in vain. Let's see. All right. Dismiss the truth. And keep on waiting for our uh, sons to grow up. Liberation of. Wait, what? Liberation of Abyssinia. Oh, they're helping. They're helping the Caliph. Hmm, I see. Uh, the Caliph, if they stay this big, which they probably won't, I'll probably make them have a lot of vassals as well. Like I did with the Abbasids in uh, Aliyah Est. Actually, you know what? Offer to join war. They are going to stay Catholic this time. And I swear on my pride that I will help them in any way I can. Right, so our prime heir is chaste. Not the end of the world. Need better generals. Excellent. Um, hmm.
right. No biggie. Let's go and take this back first. Maybe an army here that we can fight. The war score is dropping quickly. Yeah, that's because they lost a big fight. Right, nice. Skill tactician. That is fine. That is fine. Ooh. Uh, nothing that interests me. Um, no. Princess of Ireland, maybe. She's got some sick diplomatic score. On the prestige. Yeah, let's siege this. Ooh, 7,000 uh, mercenaries. Perfect. Free war score, I say. Wait, what's up? French war for the Count of Padua, Baron of. Oh, okay, some Italian holdings probably. Hopefully, the new, newly Catholic king... Oh wait, his heir is not even Catholic. That's in... W wait, why? Why is his heir not... Uh... It's primogeniture. Shouldn't that mean... Oh, it must be his first son's son. I see. But his son, in turn, is Catholic. Well, then we should try to help him by murdering this guy. Let's see if we can. Aha! Another mercenary band! Not too bright, are you? Hiring mercenaries time and time again. Right next to the army that is fighting you off. So, yeah, people will help me. Sweet! Then, when he dies... I didn't even notice that he became king, but now I know. Then his son will take over. That's much better. Though still, I don't like the fact that, you know... Their vessels don't convert when it's like a crusade conversion. It should be a higher standard for what they are, for what they can do. Indulgent wastrel. That's awful. He's got some good stats anyway. Oh well. Okay, I don't know. Defeat again? Wait, where? I probably have some troops here. Oh, I forgot to check where I had holdings. One of these mine? No. I don't know. Guess it's no matter. Look out below! Come on, die! Yes! Alright, so his heir is Catholic as well. Good! Oh, would you... have this gift? Sweet. He should be grown up at any second now. 
Do I have any daughter I could betroth him to? I have one. Uh, arrange betrothal between you and my daughter. That's a fine marriage proposal. Proposal. All right, our first Dutch province in Liege. Sweet. Technological improvement. Um, let's go for cavalry. Town infrastructure and legalism, along with some majesty and construction and church infrastructure. Why not? All good things to have. Yes, they are starting to convert. Score one for Catholicism. Perfect. Ooh, can I get some more money, Papa? Nice. Thank you. Anything exciting happening here in the rest of the world? It looks like the Arabians are... Defending. They lost the invasion of Syria. And now they're defending against something. Portugal is fighting... Eden's host. Defending against someone's claim in Portugal. What's happening in Aragon? Hold War for Mallorca. Oh, it's also Claymore. I always get uh, nervous when I see the white uh, stripes. Because that can mean anything. Alright. I hope you appreciate the help. And now this guy should convert or get revoked. At least I think so. Uh-huh, so another one. How about I join your war? I'm way too kind helping Hungary like that, but I, I want to make a difference. Otherwise they would have just regressed being tangry. Oh man. Nice, I won. Will I win again? No, I won't. That's too bad. Alright, I'll go back and regroup. The Hungarians can handle this themselves, even. I don't even need to... Uh, wait for them to go there. I can just dismiss them immediately. What is France doing, by the way? France is... Padua. I need to see. Padua. Oh, alright. This. Why do they need to fight in my territory? They're probably going to kill my little troop. Go up to Loon. You will be safe in Loon. Alright, my first grandson. Please stop fighting. In my territory, get out! I need to raise troops here. And go and help Hungarians. Alright, so this guy converted, I think. Yes, he converted. And his heir also hung also converted. This guy has a Catholic heir. This guy has converted. It's an Arpad even. Um <sighs> I, I'm really looking forward to playing this in U4. The world is so interesting. Just look at it. There's so much potential. I'm also really thinking about renaming uh, the kingdom to Luxembourg. and just moving my capital here. Is it worth it though? It is, kind of, because it's closer to the Dutch culture I want to absorb. Then I can rename the kingdom. 
Can I? Apparently I can't. Maybe because I'm at war. Alright, let's raise the troops again. Not you, though. Move them back to Hungary and help out. Not that they need it. I just want to. Uh, awful generals. Why? <laughs> Can help out the Holy Romans on the way. No, I don't even need to. Hmm. I see a breach in the walls here. Let's take it back immediately. And split and move half of them here. Nice. Uh, no, I will educate my son myself. Even though I seem to be a bad, edu bad at educating children, seeing as they've not gotten the best of educations. A three-star and a one-star education. <sighs> Do I really want to let you go? It would disinherit you. No. But I would like to disinherit you. No, we just join a. M you would just be a monk. That's not cool enough. I only accept holy orders. All right, so he won with a victory, not just a white piece. Nice. Um, we still can't edit it. That's too bad. Oh well. It's not a big loss. I believe that hung... Is this mine, by the way? Yes, it's my vessel. That's why I'm getting all the pop-ups. I see. Alright, so now you're fighting another tyranny war. Well, I could help you. Just for fun. Let's take care of them. Now the court chaplain. Down to Rome. Request some money? No. Nice. Well, they didn't really need help. But what the hell. This um, definitely makes it so that Hungary will stay Catholic. Well, I've said that once before, actually. <laughs> they turned to Tengri. I, I think this will be permanent. I, I hope it will be. Let's waste some troops. And then, I'm not sure if we, we're needed. I'll keep them around until the war is won anyway. Just for safety's sake. I'm proud of him. Hmm. Still quite a few years left until the Timurids will arrive. I think they arrive in like 1377 uh, or something. Ah, uh, yes, I'm quite sure that's it. Sweet! Alright, you. I should stick around until he's married my daughter. And then end the episode. Yeah, that seems like a fine uh, ending point. We still can't rename... No, but we can go to the barber. Not exactly what I was thinking of, though. Alright. It's happening in England, there's a war for England and a peasant revolt for Bordeaux. Oh, they are losing their holdings in France. 
Hmm. Uh, the Knight's Temp... Well, sure. Go with my blessing then, son. Go join the Teutonic Order. Sure. Is Jerusalem independent? It looks like they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Jerusalem, the independent German slash Mongol Nestorian place. Jihad for Jerusalem. Let's see what that means. That means currently that the Prince of Brittany will join. Count Alexei of Livima. Anyway, what kingdom is this? This is Mesopotamia. Bedouin Sunni Abbasid. This is also Abbasid. But it's Syria, right? Yes. Interesting. So Syria holds this. And then Mesopotamia holds this. And that looks really odd. And Hungary is almost entirely Catholic now. Just this guy. And they are converting it really quickly as well. Nice. Nestorianism will soon be the orthodoxy. They have two provinces here. Uh, one, two, three provinces there. Four. And five. While orthodoxy has one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. So, Oh, they have one Nestorian province up here as well. Oh, yes, and Sicily, of course. Well, might take a while for Nestorianism to take precedence over Orthodoxy. But I don't doubt it will soon. Soon enough. I have some more retinues. Yeah. No. You're not going to join the Holy Order. Hmm... Let's get some more retinues. Let's see, cavalry. Cavalry is fine. Perfectly fine. I'm impressed by the fact that France is beating uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Oh no, her son is dead. Instead, this guy, Van Wolfsberg, is going to inherit. Duchy of Carinthia. Hmm. Alright, our daughter is soon of age. Now they're fighting Ungvar again. Let's some taxes. Could go for this. Wait, I didn't even notice that we lost it. We must have lost it. But we need to fight Frisia for it, so I'm not ready to do that. That will be the work of the AI if it decides to. Alright, little... Blanche Flore, or something. Soon you will marry a great Hungarian prince. Or actually king. that rose to power thanks to our meddling. So we created our own powerful ally in the east. Which is a, an accomplishment in and of itself. There we go. Yes. And on that note, we end this episode. In the next episode, we will once again pick a new nation, or well, dynasty. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.